Throughout phase one, ensure the main tank faces away from the group as boss hits with nasty conals throughout. Bosses flailing his arms back slash large green pulse, raid wide. These can be back to back. Four growing green orbs. Move to the arena edge on the side with no orb. Party needs to be split into a DPS group and a healer plus off tank group for respective stack damage. Each party should be on the opposing sides of the safe edge. The main tank should be between the two parties with the stack groups being far enough apart to enable the main tank to not get hit by either blow. Cox left hand right back. Big tank hit, followed immediately by the other tank conal hit. Mitigate accordingly. One growing green orb. As soon as this appears, which will always be directly after a raid wide, whole team needs to stack between the boss and the green orb. This will ensure his half arena AoE is fired in the required direction. One player will get a large pink AoE, and five of the players will get small green AoEs. Pink AoE should either hug the boss's butt, or sprint to the far arena edge behind the boss, depending on your group's preference. All of the players should spread ensuring they are in the half of the arena behind the boss. Previous mechanics will repeat until the boss is at 65%. Stone adds phase. One tank will take the large add and the other tank the three small adds. We get two large and 12 small throughout this phase. Kill as follows. Six small, one big, six small, and then the final big add. Do a little damage on the big ones between small adds spawning, but be careful not to gun down too fast, as all the adds fire off AoEs upon dying, which can really add up for the healers if small and large die at the same time. Get the first large add down before or very soon after the second appears, and defeat all the adds before the limit break reaches around 50 and you'll be golden. Boss transition with big raid wide, all stack closely together for the next mechanic. Yellow screen flash slash twister mechanic. The flash will snapshot the position of a baited AoE which will hit for each player. Move away as soon as the flash goes off. Buffs. Four players get a green one, four players get a yellow one for the following mechanics. First, a room AoE. Move to the side of the room with a glowing ball the same colour as your buff. Next, at least one player with a yellow buff needs to be in each tower. Be aware and prepared to switch if one of the two towers is missing a player. At the same time, the green buff players should hug north close to the boss. After the towers resolve, tethers on the yellow players all need to be intercepted by the green players. Take care as you can steal a tether off another green player. If yellow players linger vaguely down the center line after the towers, then the tethers should instantly go to green. At the same time, there will be a growing green orb AoEs. Green players will already be safe close to the boss. Yellow players need to move to safe spots, which vary but are generally easy to avoid either at the back of the arena or to the sides. For melee uptime, if the green players stack very tightly in front of the boss, then there is space either side of them for other players. Lastly, another room AoE, go to the side of your colour as before, buffs will drop off. Earthshakers slash twisters. One DPS and one healer will get a pink tether. One of them, often the DPS, should head to the right slash east edge and the healer west left. Those players also need to stretch the tethers enough to turn them purple. At the same time you'll get the yellow twister flash. Tethered players need to head to the edge and then head south a little. After the flash and the rest of the party should stack in the middle close to the edge of the hitbox, then adjust south or slightly north after the flash for the beta AoEs. Boss glowing chest. Boss's chest will then glow. Team should all spread to avoid overlapping as three random players will be hit with small AoEs. Towers with no buffs, one tank should take each tower with some mitigation. Large orbs AoE with no buffs, just a raid wide. Knockbacks slash twister. Post the no buff towers, all players need to stack in the middle of the boss's hitbox. A blue knockback circle will appear under you. It is imperative that you stay stacked in the circle until the yellow screen twister flash bait happens. As soon as it does, position to be knocked back to the southeast. Then run to the centre to be knocked back east. Lastly, position around the third blue knockback circle to be knocked back southwest. The growing green orb will resolve before the knockback. Earthshakers, this time with no twister. Tether DPS right edge, healer left as before. Glowing chest slash twister. Same AoEs on three random players to spread for. This time take care as everyone will need to start to spread, wait for the yellow flash and then adjust slash spread further, taking care not to move where another player has just baited a twister. Wind add phase. 
Boss will crouch down, signifying a large knockback. Get yourself in front of the boss's face. All non-tank players should stack on the Storm of Words ad, gunning it down before it casts Revelation. When the Revelation cast hits about 50%, there will be a Twister Flash, which everyone should spread away from the ad for. At the same time, there'll be two sets of three little ads from the earlier in the fight, and two more towers. Each tank should take three each, and each soak a tower. Lots of mitigation here, as damage will be heavy. Once the Windy ad is down, polish off those little ads. One player will get a stat marker, and all players should then quickly stack in the mini tornado left behind by the Wind ad. Run back to the centre to bait another Twister Flash, which signifies the start of a full repeat of all the mechanics since the boss got big. All done. Like and subscribe to complete the duty.